What is up YouTube and welcome to this Doom trailer featuring probably the best cast in a movie ever assembled. A Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya connection is just far too much, not to mention Oscar Isaacs here who was supremely underserved in the Star Wars sequels, and as well Jason Momoa being Jason Momoa. So let's dive in and break down this stunning trailer. Dune is based on the iconic novel of the same name by Frank Herbert and even had a cult classic movie directed by the iconic David Lynch. It revolves around a substance known as Spice. Spice is able to extend life and turn people into total galaxy brains. It is also able to fold space and create instant interstellar travel. Naturally, a actual substance like this, which is a thinly veiled thing for oil, will be incredibly fought over. The trailer opens and mainly follows Timothy Chalamet, who will be playing a character called Paul. Paul is the Duke's son, whose house basically is rising in popularity. However, the Emperor, who is in charge of, well, everything, because, you know, he's an Emperor, actually instructs someone to go and take out Paul and further so discord there in his house. He's instructed by this by the Guild Navigator. These are people who are actually consumed lots and lots of spice and has turned them into something very hideous. However, Paul is actually having visions of his future, which we see in the trailer when he's in his bed, and he's contacted by the Reverend Mother Maheim, which is in the trailer and is the one that is threatening Paul's life. He is forced to put his hand in a box and is tortured with extreme pain. This is to find humans who have the emotional intelligence above simple animals. This actually causes a burning sensation in the books, and the Mohaim will play a key role in the movie as well. Paul is also being trained by Gurney Halleck here, who is played by Josh Brolin. These are, or at least he is, one of the many people who will interact with Paul over and through his entire journey to become a absolute leader of the planet, or at least the free men, which we see later in the trailer. We cut to Oscar Isaacs, who is playing Duke Leto, who is the father of Paul. He is amassing a secret army, which is, or at least thought to, which is why the Emperor sees him as a threat, and by proxy, his son Paul, which explains the whole death order that's placed on Paul's head. The Duke is due to be given control of the only source of spice, which is the desert planet Arrakis, aka Dune, and I will refer to it as Dune throughout the rest of this video. And, well, what's happened here is that he wants to get him and place him on this planet and have him ambushed. But it seems to have already been put in place here as the voiceover says that he already rules it and we see more shots of the planet. Now, Jason Momoa appears in true Jason Momoa fashion <laughs> and he's playing Duncan Idaho, who is the right-hand man to the Duke, which explains why he was so happy to see Paul. He's been keeping an eye on the Freeman community, which is a collection of people who all already live on the planet and we get our first glimpse of them as Javier Bardem who is in this movie playing a character called Still Grey who will actually help Paul join the Freeman later in the movie is shown taking his mask off. Now we hear how the planet is a hostile planet and we get a good look at Glossu Raban, who is of course played by Batista himself. He is the nephew of Vladimir Harkonnen, who is actually the leader of Gedi Prime, which is an industrial world. Now Vladimir actually wants to get rid of the Duke's house and concocts a plot to take him down from inside his own house. That is probably why there is that shot of this army and later in the trailer we see some conflict between the two forces. Jessica here is also played by Rebecca Ferguson, who is in the trailer as well, and is the mother of Paul. It's clear the movie will follow all of the plot here of the book, and we see the army of Glossio invade Dune, because Paul mentioned that his family is being picked off one by one. And we see the shots of them being involved and looking kind of inside the buildings and things like that, so it may be the coup that is taking place. More shots of Duncan Idaho occur, and like I said, it does look like the plot to take down the house from there. He's taking place here inside the trailer. The other major character is revealed to be played by Zendaya, and I have even more respect for her after recently binging the absolutely amazing and just stunning series Euphoria. She's playing Chani, who is the future mother to Paul's children, and he says how he knows her. He meets her after he and his mother escape the invasion by Vladimir's forces, but he has already seen her in his visions. 
And that is part of how he seems to know her already. After this, we see shots of varying degree with a voiceover speaking of a legend. Paul is actually sought after at the start of the trailer as he is a product of a breeding program to create a superhuman. This could also refer to the future he has as the leader of the free men. And lastly, we get to see the giant sandworms. Now, these worms are actually crucial to the creation of Spice, and only the free men have been able to control them, which may be why it actually stopped at the end of the trailer, as we saw one of the free men there. The central conflict will essentially be Paul and his house versus Vladimir's house, as he also joins the free men and then leads them to have kind of a whole empire and its own sort of place in the galaxy which is going to be very fun to see and the whole kind of suffrage and things like that is going to be very very on topic for the whole world now overall the trailer does look very very cool the cast i think is the best cast like i said i've seen assembled for a while and timothy chamelay taking a lead role here but on a bigger scale would not disappoint and i've been a big fan of him for ages ever since call me by your name and also ever since he was in the king that was on netflix and is a kind of an adaptation of shakespeare's henry the fourth and other works by shakespeare so it's going to be good to see him there and i don't think he will disappoint whatsoever and he does have the power and gravitas that he did have in that movie again over here it's also from the same director who did blade runner 2049 which in my opinion i think was better than the original please do not hate me for that but let me know what you think in the comments down below please do drop a like please do subscribe with notifications on and i'll see you soon goodbye